Harishta Hafez Zara of Indonesia was named Miss Supranational 2024 during the pageant's coronation night held in Malopolska, Poland, on Saturday, July 6, 2024. The 20-year-old candidate bested 67 other candidates to succeed Ecuador's Andre Aguilera. Zaro is the first beauty queen from Indonesia to win the Miss Supranational crown. It still feels unreal, she said of her crowning moment. It's going to be a very special year and my heart is filled with pride. Harishta Hafa Zara's journey to being crowned Miss Supranational 2024 is a story of dedication, passion, and unyielding commitment to her values. Born in Garut Regency, West Java, Indonesia, and raised in Bandung, Harishta's life has been a tapestry of experiences that have shaped her into the remarkable woman she is today. From her early involvement in environmental activism to her crowning moments in both Putri Indonesia and Miss Supranational, Harishta's story is one of inspiration and resilience. India and Pakistan also participated in Miss Supranational 2024 but did not advance to the final stages of the competition. As we conclude this inspiring journey through the life and achievements of Harishta Hafa Zara, crowned Miss Supranational 2024, we hope you've been as moved by her story as we have. From her early days in Bandung to her rise as an international beauty queen, Harishta's dedication to environmental causes and her incredible kindness truly make her a role model for us all. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Harishta's life and accomplishments, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Your likes really help support the channel and ensure that we can continue bringing you more in-depth and inspiring stories like this one. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. We're always here with the latest in beauty pageants, inspiring stories, and much more. Join our community of enthusiasts and let's celebrate the achievements and impact of amazing individuals together. Harishta Hafa Zara, affectionately known as Tata, was born on September 5, 2003, in Garut Regency, West Java. Her father, Jinan Ja, is an entrepreneur, while her mother, Yeni Yuliani, hails from Pungjui, Garut Regency. Both parents are of Sundanese descent, and their cultural heritage has been a significant influence in Tata's upbringing. Growing up in Bandung, Tata was immersed in a supportive family environment that encouraged her to pursue her passions. She attended SMA Nejeri to Bandung High School. Graduating in 2020, Tata's academic journey did not stop there. She is currently pursuing a degree in environmental engineering at the National Institute of Technology Bandung, Itanas. Her choice of study reflects her deep-seated commitment to environmental sustainability, a cause she has championed from a young age. Tata's passion for the environment became evident during her high school years when she actively participated in various social activities in Bandung. She was involved in environmental campaigns and charity activities aimed at supporting underprivileged children. Her love for nature and desire to make a positive impact on the world around her guided her decision to study environmental engineering. Tata's advocacy focuses on educating others about the importance of reducing food waste, a significant issue contributing to environmental degradation. She believes that through awareness and education, communities can adopt sustainable practices that benefit both people and the planet. Her dedication to this cause has been a driving force in her life, shaping her actions and aspirations. Tata's foray into the world of beauty pageants began with her participation in the Bandung Regency Mojang Jajaka Kabupaten Bandung Regional Ambassador Selection Competition in 2022. She was selected as Wakil to as Mojang Kabupaten Bandung 2022 marking the beginning of her pageantry career. Her performance in this competition showcased her poise, intelligence, and dedication to her advocacy. In 2024, Tata participated in the provincial selection for Putri Indonesia Jawa Barat 2024. The event, held at Graha Mustikaratu in Jakarta, 
sought her to emerge victorious, earning her the title of Puteri Indonesia Jawa Barat 2024. This victory paved the way for her to represent West Java at the National Puteri Indonesia 2024 competition. The Puteri Indonesia 2024 competition was a significant milestone in Tata's life. Held on March 8, 2024, at the plenary hall of the Jakarta Convention Center in central Jakarta, the event coincided with International Women's Day. During the final round, Tata was asked about the role of women in accelerating national development. Her insightful response highlighted the importance of collaboration between men and women in driving progress. Tata was crowned by her predecessor, Farhana Nariswari Wizandana, marking a historic moment as the second Sundanese representative to win the title. Her victory was also notable as it marked the first time the same province had won for two consecutive years in the history of Puteri Indonesia. Tata's win was a testament to her grace, intelligence, and unwavering commitment to her values. As the main winner of Puteri Indonesia 2024, Tata was selected to represent Indonesia at the Miss Supranational 2024 competition held on July 6, 2024, in Nowy Sacz, Lesser Poland, Poland. The Grand Coronation was a spectacular event that featured 68 stunning delegates from around the globe. Tata's performance throughout the competition was nothing short of exceptional, showcasing her poise, intelligence, and advocacy for environmental sustainability. Tata was crowned Miss Supranational 2024, making her the first Indonesian and sixth Asian woman to win the title. Her victory was a moment of immense pride for her country, as she became a symbol of Indonesian beauty, intelligence, and compassion on the international stage. In her acceptance speech, Tata expressed her gratitude to her country and her excitement for the year ahead. It still feels surreal, and I can't wait to fulfill my duties as the new Miss Supranational 2024. It's going to be a very special year, and my heart is filled with pride. Thank you to my country for your support, she said. Indonesia, we did it. Akusinta Kalyan. Tata's advocacy extends beyond her pageantry titles. She is an activist, advocate, an environmentalist dedicated to making a positive impact on the world. She initiated the Mother of Nature program, a campaign focused on addressing food loss and waste. This initiative is motivated by her desire to reduce the impact of food waste on waste disposal in her hometown and beyond. In addition to her campaign, Tata serves as the Indonesian Ambassador for Scholars of Sustenance, SOS, a Thailand-based non-profit food rescue organization. Through her work with SOS, Tartu aims to change people's mindsets about food waste, reduce the impact of climate change, and address food insecurity. Her efforts in this area have made a significant difference, raising awareness and inspiring action within her community and beyond. Despite her public achievements, Tata remains grounded and connected to her roots. She often shares moments from her personal life on social media, providing a glimpse into her close-knit family. During Ed Alfitch 2023, Tata shared a heartfelt post celebrating the holiday with her extended family, reflecting her deep appreciation for her cultural heritage and family bonds. While Tata is open about many aspects of her life, she maintains a level of privacy regarding her parents' identities. This balance between public engagement and personal privacy is a testament to her maturity and understanding of the importance of family. Tata's achievements extend beyond her pageantry titles. She has been recognized for her contributions to environmental advocacy and her efforts to empower women and inspire change. As a speaker, Tata has participated in various events, including the 2023 Sanskrit inauguration event, where she spoke about preserving culture among young people. Her eloquence and passion have made her a sought-after speaker and advocate. In addition to her public speaking engagements, Tata's work in environmental advocacy has garnered significant attention on social media. She frequently shares updates on her activities, including her involvement in handling waste and promoting sustainable practices. Her online presence has helped amplify her message, 
reaching a broader audience and inspiring others to take action. As Miss Supranational 2024, Tata's journey is just beginning. Her reign promises to be a year filled with opportunities to make a positive impact on a global scale. Tata's commitment to environmental sustainability, women's empowerment, and cultural preservation will undoubtedly guide her actions and initiatives. Tata's victory was a proud moment for Indonesia, as she expressed her gratitude and excitement, saying, It still feels surreal and I can't wait to fulfill my duties as the new Miss Supranational 2024. It's going to be a very special year and my heart is filled with pride. Thank you to my country for your support. Indonesia, we did it. Aku Sinta Kalyan. The grand coronation of Miss Supranational 2024 was a night of elegance and grandeur. Held in the enchanting Nowy Sachs in Malopolska, Poland, the event saw the participation of 68 stunning delegates from around the globe. Andrea Aguilera of Ecuador, the outgoing queen, passed on the crown to Tata. Andrea's final walk was a touching moment, marking the end of a reign filled with remarkable achievements and cherished memories. The competition was fierce, and Tata's victory was complemented by a distinguished group of runners-up. 1. First runner-up, Jenna Dijkstra from the United States. 2. Second runner-up, Justin Zednikova from the Czech Republic. 3. Third runner-up, Isadora Mutter from Brazil. 4. Fourth runner-up, Chanel Delor from Curaçao. These exceptional women showcased their talents, intelligence, and dedication, making the event a true celebration of global beauty and grace. The evening's elegance was further enhanced by the presence of an esteemed panel of judges, including Yuwa Wokowicz, Polish producer, journalist, TV presenter, Miss Polonia 1992, and press secretary of Prime Minister Waldmar Pawlak in 1993-1995. Katarzyna Jonicic, Ninja Warrior Poland Last Woman Standing and OCR World Champion, Ngu Einhein Kim Duin, Miss Supranational 2022 Second Runner-Up, Vietnamese Supermodel, and Businesswoman, Editor Fawazka, TV Presenter and Film Writer, Robert E. P. Eil, official jeweler to the stars. Their expertise and experience added a touch of prestige to the event, ensuring a fair and memorable competition. Amidst the sea of beauty and talent, several participants shone brightly, earning accolades and special titles. Sonal Kukri, India, secured a spot in the top 12, showcasing her dedication and charm. Alitio Ambrosio, Philippines finished in the top 12 and won the Miss Supranational Asia and Oceania title. Sonal Kukri, India, secured a spot in the top 12, showcasing her dedication and charm. These incredible women demonstrated their commitment to their advocacies and their countries, making the event a true celebration of global beauty and talent. Harishta Hafezaro is not just a beauty queen, she is an activist, advocate, and environmentalist. Her Mother of Nature program focuses on addressing food loss and waste. Motivated by the significant issue of waste disposal in her hometown, Tatu also serves as an Indonesian ambassador for Scholars of Sustenance, SOS, a Thailand-based non-profit food rescue organization. Her advocacy aims to change people's mindsets about food waste, reduce the impact of climate change, and combat food insecurity. Tata's victory as Miss Supranational 2024 is a testament to her hard work, dedication, and passion for making a positive impact. As she embarks on her reign, she plans to continue her advocacy work, raise awareness about environmental issues, and inspire young women to pursue their dreams. Her journey from a young girl in Bandung to an international beauty queen serves as a powerful reminder that with determination and passion, one can achieve greatness. Miss Supranational, starting in 2009, has mainly been held in Poland with exceptions in Belarus and Slovakia. A rival pageant by the World Beauty Association emerged in 2014 but only crowned one winner virtually. Both Miss and Mr. Supranational, established in 2016, saw their first cancellation in 2020 due to the pandemic, with the reigning titles carrying over to the following year. 
Harish Tehafa Zara's journey from Bandal to the international stage is a story of perseverance, dedication, and a commitment to making a difference. Her victory as Miss Supranational 2024 is not just a personal achievement but a moment of pride for Indonesia. As she continues to inspire and advocate for environmental sustainability, Tatu embodies the true essence of a beauty queen, one who uses her platform to create positive change in the world. The world awaits the magic and inspiration she will undoubtedly bring during her reign as Miss Supranational 2024. Congratulations to Harish Tehafa Zara, the queen who is not only beautiful but also a true advocate for a better and more sustainable world.